Durango, Mexico. Not to Mexico, not Colorado. Durango, Mexico. We're on a Gould's turkey hunt. They have Gould's turkey down here. They have coos deer, but I wanted to chase a turkey with my dad. It's been a pastime for hours since I was a kid. I thought about Durango from a, uh, a buddy of mine named Adam Hollis. Uh, he was in the uh, special operations community. He was actually on SEAL Team 6, and when he retired, he started a outfitting company called Arcos, and he got married to a gal from Durango. And Adam wanted to explore this area for hunting. He knew there was some great hunting grounds in central western Mexico, and so it just kind of came out of nowhere. And, then, and I always like those stories because this is a very special place. Uh, you can look at the terrain. It's not like traditional Mexico as one would see every day. And, so it's, uh, it's going to be a special place. I can already feel it. <laughs> what we're looking at is we've got a, a feeder sitting here. We've got our blind sitting right here behind us about 20 yards or so. What we're expecting is the turkeys to come up the hill from the left, the back, and the right. So we've got a little bit of corn in the feeder. I shook a little bit out. The turkeys uh, are used to the feeder going off, so it uh, uh, probably be somewhat like a little Texas whitetail hunt what we're hoping to draw them in here. So, I've got the uh, three-quarter North American Grand Slam, as they say. Um, I'm missing the Osceola down in Florida, but I've got a Miriam and Eastern and Rio Grande. So once you get your North American Grand Slam and you're gonna add a Gould's Turkey, it's called the Royal Grand Slam or a Royal Slam. I feel right at home because we got the Avian X decoys, which is my favorite, so. We're using hens instead of jakes or a big gobbler because we don't want to intimidate the, the turkeys at all. All right, we ready, buddy? As soon as the turkey stops, mm -hmm. um, I'll want to shoot him when he stops, but I'll wait until he sticks his neck out. And when he sticks his neck out, then I will I'll blast him. What you want to look for is, is an adult, mature male. And a lot of times, the first bird that it comes in will be a young male, and we call them a jake. Uh, jakes are going to have a shorter beard, and they're going to have short, you know, spurs. So a guy wants uh, a 10-inch beard, <sighs> like everybody wants a 200-inch male deer. Couple of those hens kept staring at us, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Shit, are they gonna pick us out or, or not?" So, what would you, th what do you think, uh, rating your first turkey hunt? I mean, I gotta think that's a ten, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I think I think any less would be, would be not giving it full credit. Yeah, you know, we got in there about 4:30 when we actually got in the blind. Yeah, and. You know, it's just now six o'clock. You're sitting there thinking, all right, when are they gonna come? Are they gonna come? How many? Hope we get a you know a mature gobbler in there and not just Jake's and him.
这样。If you're like me, you're wondering what the heck just happened. I was sitting here and heck, I probably had 18 yard shot, but this jacket was making that sound. And right when I was about to shoot that, uh, that hen got a little nervous and she started to turn and walk away. And right, you know, when she had her head up when I was about to shoot, then she just pulled it down. And I think I shot right over her, uh, but hey, that's hunting. Uh, I'm not perfect, I'm a human being, but. <clears throat> What a hunt, man. That was pretty cool to see that happen. But we'll, uh, we'll get back at her this afternoon. We're back in the blind. We're on a mission. We're on a mission for a, a bearded inn. Is, uh, we're in a very special place where you can get a little closer than normal hunting turkeys in uh, North America. Those turkeys that we hunt, whether it's an Easter Miriam, Rio Grande, uh, they're more sensitive to you, what you're doing, the sound and whatnot. So we're on another quest here this evening for a bearded end. Looking at this bird, he uh, he looks to be about 10 inches. Uh, we'll measure him here in a moment, but he uh, he's probably a 20 pound bird. Almost probably as heavy as the last one. I'm just judging from holding him here. He's got two spurs. There, uh, this is what you get when you want a mature representative of the species. Hard to describe how much fun I had. Well, <laughs> I love you, buddy. This yeah. is a, a special memory for me and my dad. We had a really good hunt on uh, Mountaintop Ranch two years ago on the Rio Grande that I was able to video after calling a good gobbler in for him. So, first Gould's turkey, buddy. It is. And uh, what's even more special besides you and I doing it again together is the fact that this turkey weighs over 27 pounds. Um, it's number two ranch record here for this ranch in Durango, Mexico for a cool turkey. Mm -hmm. 